So Fairfax County is a great place to do business and we're growing. And as we grow, there is a need for us to be nimble and very agile with the uh, development review process. We've got a program where you have someone at the county that's familiar with all the different processes of the development. So instead of just looking at one individual process at, at a time, we're thinking three or four moves ahead. You get um, constant updates and communication. Um, you have a, a liaison in Fairfax County working with you. Um, and the transition to obtain, which is usually the goal for all developers, is for occupancy of the new structure. Um, and it makes that entire process from beginning to end go a lot smoother. The project management team serves as kind of a, an overseer of the entire development process. We don't have authority over each individual part, but we try to be involved with each part and involved with the transition between those parts. Along with that, the project managers uh, work really hard to put together a schedule with the applicant and staff so that we can hold everyone accountable. That sets a framework for success. One of our main roles is to provide this enhanced level of communication between the county and the applicant. Um, so there's, there's just kind of an open channel of communication so they always know. There's, there's no question about what the status of something is um, and you have a, a quick, direct way of getting the answers that you're looking for. There's the site project manager, the building project manager, which does the troubleshooting and fix it type uh, on the building side, the permit side. And then we have uh, project managers um, that deal with specific areas. Resources on our team that also handle nonprofit uh, cases where they, they may not have all the resources that typical developers have to, to do a rehabilitation or, or get a nonprofit property like a church approved and up to code. Uh, and we also uh, answer and, and work closely with economic development, including the EDA, the Economic Development Authority where they, have, they know they have prominent projects, prominent tenants, or prominent owners that want to build their buildings in the county. A lot of times you're dealing with people from out of the state and they need that assistance to go through all the different processes that we have here in Land Development Services. What you have is a very proactive team. In this business, you don't want to be reactive. If you're reactive, you're trying to get out of trouble. And that's not a healthy place to be. We want to be proactive, and that's what this team helps to do. We can be brought in really at any point in the process. We have a couple of different models of, of how we will um, get involved in a project. The one that's really the most effective is when we are brought in from the very earliest stages of the planning and review process. Projects can be complex for even the most seasoned developers in Fairfax County. So what we bring to you is someone that's familiar with the entire process at the county that's directly impacting staff, that's involved with staff, that knows a little bit at least about every, every part of the process and can think ahead so that when things are needed, they're there. That can remind the developer of things that would be needed three steps down the road. When that's needed, it's ready to go. In the future, this is going to be all over Fairfax County, a version of this PM program. I think we're setting it up for other branches and divisions to start doing the same thing. I think this is the wave of the future.